Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Fair Thoughts, the podcast, and I'm your host, Kyla Shea. You know, I was thinking about how my life used to be in regards to friendships, and I'll be honest, I miss it, okay? I want to share my experience with making friends in a new city, so if this is something that's been on your mind as well, or you want to know what, what I've been going through, let's get right into it. So if you don't know, I moved from Baltimore, Maryland to Houston, Texas back in 2020, a couple months before the pandemic hit. So you kind of already know how crazy that was for me, especially I didn't know anyone when I first moved here. I only visited once and that was just to tour the apartment that I applied for. So I was just here, stuck in the apartment. Okay. (laughs) I just wanted a fresh start and I saw the opportunity and took it. Now I'm a risk taker and I know it's not for everyone, but when I truly want something out of life, I, I'm I'm going after it, okay? After a couple of months, it started to hit me that like my friends and my family were no longer down the street. Now, I met a couple of people here in Houston within the first couple of months, you know, going outside helped me a lot and just socializing. Granted, I'm still friends with a few people that I met back in 2020. But soon I started to realize for me that many people didn't have peer intentions. If you all ever wondered why I stopped vlogging as much and sharing my relationships with people, It was because it didn't last long. I realized a year or so ago how much I actually missed my friends from back home. You know, being so close by just to get up and do stuff with. It's hard finding, quotes, you know, your people when you move. And you get so used to how things were with your true friends. And not everyone will understand you, especially when you're moving to a whole different city. And that's fine. Because also, too, you know, everyone was raised differently, especially from, you know, different cities and their households. So just keep that in mind, okay? I noticed many people were around me just to say they know me and, you know, or to see what's going on in my life. Many people had ill intentions. They lacked communication skills, but they could tell everybody else their problems and issues they had in regards to me, but would never come to tell me. So I wouldn't know. And, you know, I'm really big on communicating. If I made you feel away, let me know. We can figure it out. But, you know, I set boundaries for myself, so it may come off as me being standoffish to some people that watch my content, but I treat friendships just like dating. You got to really feel people out, you know, before sharing them with everybody, you know? And I've heard people say, oh, you're friends with Kai? I would take advantage of that. Or, OMG, I didn't know you knew Kai. Could you see if she could do whatever, whatever for me? And don't get me wrong. I love helping others, but it's just draining when people always want to benefit from, you know, you, but they can't pour back into you in a beneficial way. I'm human too, and no one wants to feel used. A lot of people have negative things to say about me, and I've had to learn how someone else perceives me. I have no control over that. I can plead my case, you know, 300 times, and people are still going to feel however they feel. Making new friends in general is hard, especially as an adult. It's real life stuff going on, and you know, you give off a certain vibe to people when you're trying to actually get your life together. And some say, you know, some people say I'm stuck up, I mean, whatever the case may be, but truly it's just the other person not being fully confident with their own life. So many will try to tear me down or make me feel bad for wanting more for myself. And I can't dim my light to make someone else feel comfortable, you know, when they should feel comfortable within themselves. And I can say this because I felt this way towards women before. I've realized they aren't mean. I just had my own insecurities and I was intimidated by somebody who had their ish together. Okay. And it's... Not saying it's normal and not saying it's okay, but once you can accept that and understand that and work on it, you'll be fine. So, you know, find yourself before trying to make new friends and stand on the boundaries that you, you know, make with people. Be confident. The right crowd will come soon. I don't, you know, I don't deal with like the childish antics and, you know, I want genuine friendships, longevity, people who have something truly going on for themselves, you know, so... I do apologize to my true supporters if you feel like I closed off because I did for good reasonings and you know I will continue to pray for good discernment and you know I want to say thank you to those that do respect me because it like I said it can come off as me being mean or because I never wanted to give off like a mean girl vibe because trust me I know what the mean girls are like and I never wanted someone else to experience that feeling. Um, How can I word it for you guys? Because I know how it feels for girls to throw shade at you or make you feel like you're not on their level and things like that. So I think I was trying to protect people so bad, but at the end of the day, they'll still feel however they feel in regards to me. Like I was trying to 
make sure I was, I don't know how can I word it to you guys. I was just trying to make sure that you guys were okay, but not really making sure I'm okay in a sense. Like putting out the content that I want to put out. Like people are going to feel how they want to feel. And you know, some people take things personal. And also too, you have to understand when you're listening to videos like this or just anything self-help or any type of video where you just have to listen to the audio, stop trying to fit yourself into it. Some things just aren't for you and that's fine. All right. Um, like, you know, you see certain tweets or whatever, not everything is going to fit you and it doesn't have to. So don't try to find out like, oh yeah, this is me too. Or this is about me or I need to do this. Sometimes it's not, it, it's just for a good listen. Okay. So don't feel like, you know, anyone is down talking you or granted some people are, like I said, some girls are mean girls. Don't, don't get me wrong, <laughs> but I don't ever want to make any of you all feel like you're less than or you're not good enough. I'm just trying to strive. I want y'all to strive for more because I want more for myself. So I'm talking to those who are on the same, not the same because we're all on different journeys, but those who truly want more for themselves, that's who I'm talking to. Okay. I want y'all to want more for yourself because you are deserving of more than anything that you can even imagine. You know, sometimes we think, you know, we say, you know, we think small. We got to think big, okay? Because why can't you have something? And then also, too, I want to show you guys that every, you know, anything is possible. So when it comes to knowing yourself and being more confident, that is something you have to go through. Our journeys are all different. But once you're more confident within yourself, making friends with people, it will be hard starting off because some people are intimidated by your confidence. It's okay. It's all right. Not everybody's going to understand you. But when you're confident and you know you deem respect, other people will fall aligned. You will find these people. And I know for me, I kind of went into my shell because this stuff is traumatizing. Like <laughs> when friendships don't last long or people, you know, do you wrong or people talk about you, it is traumatizing because it's like, dang, I didn't think that way of you or like, oh, this is really how you are. So, and it's just like dating. You don't want to put what someone else did to you on someone else because that's not the same person. Granted, something I learned and something that I go by is, you know, I give people my trust up front because I'm not going to waste my time. Because, you know, some people be like, oh, yeah, you have to earn my trust. No, you got my trust when I first meet you. Cool. Once the first thing you do or whatever. And that's probably why I come off as mean. Wow. But I'm not mean, y'all. I don't have time for the games. OK, <laughs> I want to know what you truly got going on. And you got to go if if not. And if you want to live by that as well, I right, listen. It saves you a lot of time because imagine, you know, you letting someone, you know, earn your trust and you just building up. Then they do something to just piss you off. Now you wasted your time, quote unquote. So, hey, I get people, you know, my trust up front when I'm meeting people. And as soon as you know, and that's probably why some people be like, dang, oh, she's serious. Yeah, I'm serious. <laughs> I'm serious about my time and I'm life is too short to be wasting. OK, I want I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So make sure you know you got your ish together when you're coming to me because i'm i'm ready to see what where we about to go with this friendship you know i mean i love to have a good time when i go out to eat i want to have i don't want to talk about people that's not i'm not now if it's like a tiktok or something funny going on or whatever a twitter comment you know the comments be funny cool we can joke about it but let's get to it okay so i i just want to say again thank you to those that respect me because you know I'm human just like everyone else. My feelings are valid and I'm truly tired of being around people who cannot pour back into me. But I'll continue to share my journey of finding friends in a new city and I'll talk to you all soon. So make sure you guys also shop on the website to get some merch and support the movement. OK, follow on social media and comment on whatever platform you are tuning into. And I'll see you guys on the next. I said I'm going to see y'all. I'm not. I'm going to talk to y'all <laughs> on the next episode. Toodles.